Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Wendy Devereaux here. I am doing a textured painting today. So if you would like to see how I did it, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so for today's painting, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've had a lot of comments that um, people can't get the um, liquid gl glass or they're concerned with um, the crushed filler glass uh, with children. So I'm going to today, so we can get some texture in there, I'm going to be using modeling paste and I'm going to be mixing some clean sand from the dollar store just plain old white acrylic paint and black acrylic paint. I need to mix up a gray color and silver metallic from acrylic, a silver from Craftsmart. This is a metallic paint. I'm going to be using my absolute favorite bright silver Craftsmart and it's a metallic paint some white pearl metallic paint, Mod Podge satin. It doesn't really matter uh, what kind of uh, finish it is. It could be gloss. It really doesn't matter. It's to apply the glitter. Dollar Store one inch painters brushes. And I've got some of my flat brushes here and I'm going to be using my palette knife. And the glitter I'm going to be using is the Extra Fine Silver by Recollections. And my absolute favorite, it's a Silver Chunky. I put this on my purple canvas that I did. And I absolutely love it. And since this part of the video, I did run to Michael's and they didn't have any more of this, which was very upsetting, <laughs> but... I ended up getting this. Uh, this isn't going on this canvas, but I am going to be doing a painting with this stuff very soon. So, okay, you guys. Um, and I'm going to be using the smaller canvas again. I think they're a 20 by 16 inch. But this technique, this painting would look awesome on a really, really large canvas. So yeah, you guys, um, let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is make some uh, lines on my canvas so that when I am applying the modeling paste, I know where I want to stop and it just helps guide me. So I put a pencil mark down the middle line and I'm going to want my modeling paste to stop somewhere here. I'm not going to be painting the canvas before I apply my modeling paste this time because after I put it on, I am going to put um, a coat of white acrylic paint over the whole thing. Okay, guys. Let's add some paste in my cup. Sorry, you guys, I don't measure anything. Um, it would take the fun out of it for me. I'm just going to add a little bit of it. This is the this is the sand, so it's clean. And I still have a little bit of the gray in this bottle. And the reason I'm going to put it in here is because when I'm Applying the the modeling paste on my canvas, I can I can actually see it because if it's white on white, I'm not going to be able to see the 
the design that I'm making. I'm just going to apply it down the center. I want this on fairly thick. do have to be careful with modeling paste um, if it if you do it too thick it can crack on you when it dries especially if it dries too quickly so um, sometimes it's better to do a couple of coats thin layers let them dry in between just going to go up. And I would like some kind of hanging off the side like that. Remember, this part is taking the place of the crushed glass. It's going to give it a nice 3D effect. pieces of sand in there is going to make it look really, really neat. Turn this around because I'm not getting I'm trying to get kind of the icicle effect that I do with the crushed glass and I'm getting it down here but not and it's easier for me to swipe down than up. Very nice. Okay, you guys, I'll be back when this is all dry. Okay, you guys, so my modeling paste is all dry. And I want to start with a white dry canvas. So all I'm going to do, you guys, is just pour some white paint on here. And I'm going to 
Just spray my brush lightly with some water. And I'm just going to paint it all white. Just looking at it from the side, make sure that I've got the whole thing covered with a nice layer of white paint. Gee, that's even pretty just the way it is. Okay, you guys, so our coat of white paint is dry, and now I need to mix up some gray. So I'm just going to add a little white in there. Dollop of black. See how that works. Okay, I think I think I'm liking that color there. Start brushing. Now I'm just gonna brush the tip in, and I'm just going to swipe. Too worried about the technique right now. Because um, I will be going over it again with white. I just want to get some gray on my canvas. I went a little thick there. <laughs> that isn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> sand. Isn't that cool? Like, I love that. That is so nifty. Okay, I'm just going to add some white on that right now because I need to turn my painting around. It's easier for me to go this way than this way. Just let that dry a little bit and then I'll come back over it with, with some gray the way I want it. See, it's so easy to fix boo-boos, you guys. So, so easy. And I am going to just add my silvers onto my plate here. really really close to the other one oh. Oh. oh this bright silver is fantastic I love it yeah see the see the difference in that it's like it it's bright <laughs> it's <laughs> go figure that's what it's called okay now light Light, light touch on the silver here, you guys. And this one, you guys, I am not going to be 
ceiling with my clutch. I was going to, and I should have actually done that before I started adding. these metallic colors because if I add it it is going to take away it's going to take away the metallic sheen this is the white pearl okay so we are going to add it on a plate too worried about my my top and my bottom here because I don't want to mess with the way I could get my fan fan brush out but I'm not gonna walk bother. I don't want to mess with the face of the painting but I need to fix these little rounded corners here. That is really, really sharp. The, the texture from that modeling paste and a little bit of sand in there So yeah, you guys, okay, this is not going to take long to dry, and I am going to come back very soon, and we are going to put on some blingy goodness. Okay, this is all dry, and after looking at this, I do not want to hide um, all this beautiful texturing. So I am going to, there's a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a buckle in my canvas right here. So this is a good opportunity to cover that up. I am going to follow these lines with my glitter. I'm gonna cover it all up here and we're going to do an icicle effect. I don't want this to be overpowering um, because I don't want it to take away from from that beautiful texture in. Okay, so I'm just going to use a satin Mod Podge and it has a nice sheen to it. I am not going to be sealing my glitter because I don't want any of the sheen to go away from this glitter. So I am going to lay the Mod Podge on fairly thick. And when you're doing this, guys, trust me when I say that you want to get your Mod Podge on right away. Like you don't want to do it in sections and then put glitter on in sections. I've done that before and there always seems to be a line where you start up again with your Mod Podge and then, um, and then you have to go back over it again and then add more glitter. I want to be able to do this uh, without having to do that. So 
what I'm doing is getting this on as quickly as possible here. And then before I um, sprinkle the glitter on, I'm just gonna go over it again really quickly. Right now I'm just kind of getting a pattern for myself. I'm just gonna come back and add so I'm going to I think I'm gonna go this way My absolute favorite. off all the excess it shouldn't be too much but I know I don't want it down in here right I don't want it down in my painting so once that's all dry I will bring you back we'll brush it off and then I will hang it on the wall for you okay guys so uh, let's brush this off I have paper towel in here this time because um, I don't want any of this wonderful chunky silver glitter that I love so much to be um, mixed in with anything else. I mean, it's mixed in with the silver, of course, but that's okay. Okay, guys, so here's the finished look. That glitter, it just, it acts like the crushed glass because it's so big and it has such a big surface um, for the light to reflect off of it. It's absolutely beautiful. And the texturing from the modeling paste and the sand. Wow. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. And it's funny because I'm looking, I'm looking at the video, like on my phone, and that silver is not as dark as it appears. Um, on my phone right now so that's really strange I'm just gonna come over here where the lighting is like look at that glitter oh oh my goodness you guys I so so hope you can get some of this stuff because it's just it, seriously it doesn't it. it freaks me out it's just so beautiful like the different colors in there and then look at that look at the way it shines and this is super shiny hmm so yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all of my future videos. And as always, 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 you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.